So many quilts today start out with simple two and a half inch strips. You can make the most beautiful designs from something very complicated or something very simple like this rail fence quilt. And we have the perfect tool to help you cut two and a half inch strips quickly and accurately. This tool also cuts five inch strips that you can turn into charm squares or 10 inch strips for layer cakes as well. The Shape Cut Sprint is the tool that we're talking about today and it actually has cutting slots in it every two and a half inches which is perfect so if you want to make your own jelly rolls you can cut two and a half inch strips if you want to make your own charm squares you can cut five inch strips turn the ruler in the other direction and sub cut to get five inch squares or you can even cut ten inch strips and sub cut to get ten inch squares for your layer cake so it's a very versatile ruler. Let's show you how it works. Start out with a full width of fabric, fold it in half, and then we just want to take that and fold it in half one more time so that you're cutting through a little over 11 inches of fabric. Your fabric can lay anywhere on your mat, and now let's take our shape cut sprint and put it over the top, lining up the bottom fold of my fabric on the bottom zero horizontal marking on the ruler. So we'll set that on here. And then we always start out by cutting in the zero slot to square up the edge of our fabric. So we'll cut at zero, and I'm just gonna pull that away so that you can see we've got a clean cut there. And now we're gonna cut in every two and a half inch increment. So you cut at two and a half, you cut at five, you cut at seven and a half, 10, 12 and a half, let me just pull this fabric away and show you that you have your perfect two and a half inch strip. You can take those strips and turn them into squares simply now by cutting in the other direction. So I'm actually going to leave my shape cut sprint, put it right on the mat, and again I'm going to cut at that zero marking to square up the edge of my fabric. And again, I'll cut at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. And that would be how you get all of your perfect two and a half inch squares very quickly and very accurately. Squares are often needed for quilts as well, so this is a handy tool for that. To make your five inch charm squares, you would do almost the same thing. You simply want to take your fabric, again, fold it in half, fold it in half again and lay it down on the edge of your mat. Um, this edge is squared up, so I can go ahead and line up the zero vertical marking and the zero horizontal marking. And again, for this, I'd simply cut it five and 10 to get my two five inch strips. And then I could actually turn these again and sub cut to get my five inch charm squares. So very, very simple. Let's quickly finish this off. Then we have our packet of charm squares ready to go. Zero, and five, and 10. Beautiful, perfect charm squares. And you can also do that with the 10 inch marking on the ruler as well to cut your layer cakes. So two and a half, five, 10, or any other increment in two and a half inches works really well with this ruler.